got a lot of stuff for you. I'm glad you, you mentioned that when you did because this almost went all to goodwill. Oh my goodness. So all yeah. your, hey guys, so I'm on my way to a, uh, a callback about some video games. I actually bought a table off this guy about six months ago and he said he had his childhood collection that they were um, selling his parents house and so they boxed up all of his childhood video games and brought them over and so I've been waiting to meet with him and we're about to we're about to see what's in there so stay tuned and let's check it out down the road here make this for the most uncomfortable buy ever oh, here you go. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff for you I'm glad you that when you did because this almost went all to goodwill oh my goodness so all yeah. your uh, gaming goodwill. systems are right in here so mm -hmm. the three systems and then the little bonus one and then they got cords too right yeah, yeah all the cords are in this bag i just try to keep it all kind of uh in the same area so you got that that uh that's the Wii, and then we may have more coming down the pipeline this side those are like the, the, the state yeah all the Wii stuff for that um this is the Wii, uh, fifth the, the fifth one, yeah. Yes. And you have the uh, yes. DS stuff. So there's all the games and wires are kind of in here uh, for that. And you can take these bags with you, of course. So. All right, cool. Uh, you got all the Wii stuff in here. All the wires for all the systems are in here. Yeah. Um, and then the all the games uh, and their cases are in here as well, too. Awesome. For them. So, and then the guitar here as well. But like I said, there might be more uh, coming. We're just families are cleaning out their homes and our childhood bedrooms. Are and you? Like, take this I mean, I'm good stuff. with all '90s stuff. Like, if you end up with like some toys or anything kind of yeah, like I'll that. I'll let you know because, like I said, we're just our, uh, our parents are going through all of our childhood stuff and kind of going through everything and seeing what we want or don't want. But yeah. Yeah, I love I love this stuff. Yeah. Just because this bag is really heavy, I don't want it to rip on you. So just be careful. Right on. I'm sure it's all. I'm sure it's all there. No, yeah, I mean, trust me, Obviously. we don't want any of this. Like I said, it's going to, uh, it's going to go to Goodwill. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cool, man. Yeah, of course. Hey, you. Perfect. Double check. Appreciate it. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Like but, I said, yeah. Well, I'll let you know. I'll see what the, the family has. I think, if anything, it's going to be another PS2 for sure, and maybe a Wii. Yeah. Um, and the Wii has the Guitar Hero stuff for it. Oh, cool. Um, as well. Yeah. But, awesome. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, man. I like. I'll keep I, you posted. So I have your your info too. Yeah, I like PlayStation 2 games. I was hoping there was some more games. But. I'll see. I may have some games. Um, I mean, all the games. I mean, we listed everything out for you. That's all there. Um, and then I don't know what I have um, in my house because all the stuff with my fiance is um, from his house. So right on. So good. But I'll keep you posted and let you know cool, what man. else we find. So Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Awesome, man. Yeah, good luck. Have a good day. Thanks, bro. Uh, if yeah, you want, good. yeah. I like like TMNT primarily. I like Teenage Mutant, like Ninja Turtles. Okay. Um, I don't. You don't care, obviously, like if it's not in the box and stuff like that, you're totally fine I mean, if with. it was in the box, that'd Obviously, be... yeah, worth way more. But... Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what we have. Like I said, I think Like, even, even before you take, like, old t-shirts, like, if they're, like, 90s shirts, yeah, you know yeah, for yeah, sure they are. You know, I mean, better, you better to make... You saw all this on eBay, right? Yeah. For the most part? Yeah. Better to make a couple bucks on a shirt than just give it to... So, in all honesty, how much will you make off of the stuff that we gave here? Buy I basically, like yeah, I gave you like, I offered nice. you like 50%. Yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff I can't even sell, like the Wii board and all that stuff. Like, I mean, I could try to sell it with like the yeah, Wii Fit. Be like asshole. 20 it's bucks and I'd have so to sell it local. And ship and, yeah. Or do you make them pay the shipping sometimes? Well, they pay the shipping, but they won't really, like, so what I'd probably have to do, that that might end up at Goodwill. I will I can throw it on Facebook Marketplace for like yeah. 20 bucks with the with the games. Or I can try to part it, part it with one of my Wiis that I have. And then sell it like a we fit package. Yeah. But honestly, the better thing to do is the part part like if you put a we with a we sports. Yeah. You do a sports package, then yeah, they'll buy that. Or if you do we with Mario Kart, and I put those two controllers with the Mario yeah, Kart and the Wii. Yeah. Mario games in there. You know, then I'll I'll it'll sell like a package like that. But yeah, it'll take me time. Yeah. yeah you know, I mean, and like then like I said, it was gonna all go to Goodwill. So when I 
told him, I was like, hey, do you want to sell your stuff? He's like, sure, that's fine. Because our brother-in-law was like, oh, you can get like two grand for all that. And we're like, but okay, yeah, I, well, that's time. And honestly, like, you, yeah, won't, you wouldn't get two grand that, for it. Even, even a thousand. If like, I'm being honest with you. Our, yeah, you might, you, if you got top dollar, you you prob you could probably get, if you part every little piece out, you'd probably get like a thousand, maybe $1,100. Yeah. Um, but then like, you have to, I have to pack it, ship it, take course, pictures, yeah, and I got to give eBay 13%. And oh, then, shit. then they report that to the feds. So then oh, I have so to, pay have to pay federal income tax. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's like, no, yeah. That's why I was like, I'm kind of at like 450. Like I could have went to five, but then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm doing all that for maybe 300 dollars after all that, and it's like, do I really want to do the work? For I sure. think it's cool, so I don't mind doing it with the video games. Yeah. Plus they sell kind of fast. But do you anyway. Ever keep stuff for yourself, like yeah, a I, private collection or anything. Yeah, I got a little. I got a. I got like some pretty rare, um, like Nintendo 64 games that I bought. Cool on accident essentially yeah. and then i found out what they were worth after i bought them like they'll have like specific blockbuster release games like they have a uh, i don't know if you remember clay fighter no, it was like a really fighting it's like a fighting yeah. game but they had one that's called um sculptor's cut and it was only released to blockbuster for rentals oh, and wow. i have one of them it's worth like no 1200 bucks one wow. cart one that's cool. little not without the box but yeah. just one little cartridge just actual game yeah, yeah. Cool, that kind of stuff. Good for you. Like awesome, some 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 Nintendo games with a box and of course. I don't know, just stuff that I keep. But no, most of it I buy to sell. But yeah. I like Game Cubes are cool. Like all that stuff. No, really sure. cool. I, at one point I was like, should we just keep this? Like I don't play video games enough. Like yeah, we just work too much. Yeah, to, to enjoy. The last thing I want to do is play a game. They stress me out. Plus they have all these emulators now, and so you could get a GameCube controller get a little thing to plug it into your laptop and or whatever and you could play yeah, we have the or just get the switch we have a switch right now yeah they, have, they just came out with all the new like old school games so yeah we just bought that and they have like a switch bucks, they have but... a switch controller that's just a gamecube controller oh, no so way, you could yeah. really play smash and all Everything, that right on yeah. switch that's oh, wow, pretty cool that works out. yeah well, good luck awesome all stuff, man. thanks josh yeah. god bless you man have a good day hey yeah so josh is cool man i, I like him like I said, I, I bought a table off of him like six months ago and they're cleaning out all their houses because I don't know if you know, but the housing market here in Florida is like through the roof. If you have more than one house or some people even have old money or a childhood home that's been here for a while. I mean, they're like five axing if you bought it long enough ago. Where a house you pay $125 for is worth a million dollars. Some of them, if they're in the right area. So his family's emptying out their childhood homes on the other coast uh, Miami side you did notice that that Josh asked me how much I think I could sell it for he said his cousin said two grand I don't think I could get two thousand dollars for this like unless people were overpaying for it like I would be really surprised if I ended up making two grand off of this so it's a triple up at the most I would make thirteen hundred dollars um, but I was honest with him I said you probably get around a thousand eleven hundred that's what I'm aiming for so it's a double up and I'm not oppose the doubling up when it comes to video games especially cool nostalgic things like ps2 and game boys and game boy games there's a pokemon yellow in there um, but we'll break down what it was i just wanted to do a cool uh video of that he was pretty awesome to have me be able to record and i'll probably keep the part at the end here where he's talking to me about possible future deals so when you pay somebody the right price for things they're more likely to deal with you again in the future all right, well, let's dig in and see what we ended up getting from Josh. Here's the haul. Uh, first up, we got some Game Cubes. Everyone's favorite, Lemony Snickets, a series of unfortunate events. Boo. Super Monkey Ball, player's choice. Spider-Man 2, black label. Sonic Heroes, player's choice. Super Mario Sunshine. Sonic Riders, black label. Super Smash Bros. Melee, very clean, very, very nice condition on this Smash Bros. right here. Beautiful. Both manuals inside. Sonic Mega Collections, also CIB, complete in box. Sonic Venture Battle, unfortunately this is player's choice, but still a good title. CIB, complete in box. Very, also very, very clean. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but that sucker is beautiful. Mario Party 4. Clean case. Very clean case. CIB. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mario Party 5. Manual. 
no manual disc and case only but also very clean case little sticker wear up here but other than that very nice mario party six so we got four five six mario party six nice case clean case black label cib complete in box mario party seven complete in box and that's it on the gamecube games we get into some nintendo we got nintendo ds plant vs zombies complete in box this is this is a killer game if you've never played pets hamster 2 you gotta try this out you get to raise little hamsters this game is shovelware junk but listen on the same super mario brothers new nintendo ds cib good game into the original game boy games super mario brothers deluxe for the game boy color clean 1998 look at that that Pikachu boy special edition and you can see here I don't know if you can tell let me try to catch the light reflecting right there right by Pika's cheek it says 11 stamped that lets you know most of the time that that's real but I know these are authentic this is very good Game Boy Super Mario Land original boy here right here a little yellowing around the back Harry Potter um, you would think that this is shovelware, which it kind of is, but I'm pretty sure this is like an 11 or $12 game, so we will list that. It's worth our time. Moonstaz Inc. with the case. We'll list that. I think that's about 10 bucks. Next, we ended up with a Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, uh, Namco. Uh, I think this is like $20 plus ship. Next, got a full PS2 with memory card. SCPH 3901 the expansion bay does not have anything in the expansion two trollers and concluded included the see-through blue and the original black that should be a that should be a hundred dollar bill right there next up we got a Wii it does have the GameCube ports on it relatively clean Wii I don't think it's modded. It does have some sticky junk right here. I uh, got the Wii. GameCube system. Silver. No game inside, unfortunately. No bonus disc. Um, this, I have not been able to locate the power supply or the cable yet. So I'm going to have to reach out to him and see what's going on with that. But we do have a silver GameCube pretty clean here with two controllers we got the silver gamecube controller nice nice joysticks no sticking and the black two gamecube controllers all right wii games everyone has to have wii fit and wii fit plus junk i do have the board maybe someone will buy it locally for like ten dollars but then it's a pain in the butt to find them but i'll try anyway we got Wii Music, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, CIB, complete in box. Super Mario Brothers Wii, complete in box. Super Paper Mario, complete in box. Mario Kart Wii, CIB, complete. Super Mario Galaxy, got the sticker. Not an overly valuable game either way, so I'll probably leave it and not repackage it into another thing. Complete in box. And we got the Mario Party 8. So we technically have Mario Party 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Complete in box. More Wii. Animal Crossing City Folk. Decent title. Complete in box. On to PlayStation 2 games. Jimmy Neutron. I Toy Play. I never even knew that this thing existed. I can't imagine that it must be worth much money but I do have the uh, iToy PlayStation 2 connector and the game. So maybe somebody will want those together. I, I don't know. I can't imagine that it's worth anything. Crash Bandicoot. The worst of all Crash Bandicoot titles uh, as far as value is concerned. Finding Screamo. Uh, for all of you metal band lovers, um, Nemo and Dory meet up with... Uh, metalhead shark guy here and they scream their heads off through emotional rock and roll 
if you've never listened to, played, or entertained yourself with Finding Screamo, this is a must-have title. SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Spooky uh, ghost guy on the cover. This is a not a valuable game either, but everyone loves SpongeBob. So we got one Wii Motion Plus, two regular Wii remotes, two Mario Kart Wii controllers. I could probably sell these with the Wii and the Mario Kart and help help boost that. Two blue coated nunchucks. Everyone's necessary Wii Sports. What is that? Boom. We have the Aerosmith Special Edition, Limited Edition. Rock your face off, Guitar Hero. With um, Guitar Hero 1 and 2 dual pack and the Aerosmith um, disc that goes with this. Inside of here are uh, two, I want to say like pristine clean. with their plug-in and go like I'm not even sure this thing has even really been used if it has it's been very lightly used there's a red one and a black one but they are like crispy clean plug and play guitars, which I think go about a hundred bucks. I'm going to put soul comps and stuff up on the screen, so I said last but not least, but I didn't mean that. There's one more item. We have the uh, Zelda DS Lite Gold Pack. Very clean. I mean, this thing, this thing is clean jean. Super, super nice. And it comes with it comes with um, the game, Zelda Phantom Hourglass game, CIB complete in box, the wall charger, and the car charger. Hey everybody, so you're in my storage unit. I I hope that you enjoy this style of um, bulk buys and then going through and showing you what everything cost. I don't think I overpaid. Well, maybe I overpaid a little bit. I definitely didn't rip him off. Um, I paid $450 for everything that you saw. Um, you can add up the sold comps yourself, but I would think at the top, at the absolute most that I'm going to be able to get out of this deal is about $1,200, but it'll probably land more around $900. That's why I offered him $450 for everything. Uh, welcome to my storage unit office. Uh, if you like this kind of content, um, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get alerted when more items come up and more videos come up. All these items will be listed in my eBay store where there's a link in the description. But for now, don't forget to go out to source, to sell, and to give. Because when you give, you begin to live. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next one.